Hello and welcome to the video. We're once again looking at Gesture VR. And the reason for this is it's now graduated from App Lab and it's had its full MetaQuest Store release. That was over the last couple of days. So given that it's got its now full MetaQuest Store release and it's got some new features, I thought now would be a good time to check this out and see what's new in Gesture VR. So previously you had uh, the ability to go in and paint some different models. Uh, there was a variety of different models. You set the timer, challenge yourself, you had a bunch of different colours. Uh, you could adjust the light and you could adjust the um, the model rotation. Now it seems we've got a full scale menu going on. We've got learn, learn the basics of both gesture VR and figure drawing. We've got a guided session which is a one hour of pauses with increasing durations. Free from sessions, choose from over 200 models and set the times and light. That's what I'm used to. So the freeform sessions is what we were playing with on App Lab. Then we've got Open Studio, no models or timers, just a blank space to draw. And then we've got multiplayer. So draw with up to three other artists in a multiplayer freeform session. So that sounds really interesting. Um, obviously I'm on my own at the moment, but it'd be nice nice to uh, test out that multiplayer at some point. So let's see what Learn is. So here we go. We've got a bunch of different tutorials. Uh, so basic navigation, drawing, resizing, moving the paper, sketchbook, lighting, etc. So that's all your gesture VR tutorials. Then you've got drawing and anatomy tutorials. And these are presented by Procode, Procode.com. And these are how to draw in gesture, or how to draw gesture, drawing confident lines, simplifying the motion of the torso, landmarks of the body, drawing muscles, etc. So those are some tutorials that you can go in in your own time and learn how to draw. Then we've got guided session. Gesture VR's guided drawing mode. Let's begin by selecting a model, and then I'll guide you through a structured series of 30 poses, each increasing in duration for a comprehensive practice session. Okay, so this is gonna be a guided session. I think this is a very useful tool. Um, and it's one that I actually might use just to see if I can improve my skills. So they're gonna, you select a model, and it's going to guide you through the different poses. Let's go for Victor. You'll start with 11 30 second poses. These quick sketches are great for capturing the gesture and essence of the figure. Focus on the flow and overall movement rather than the details. Okay, so focus on the floor. So we've got a head, we've got a body, sorry, an arm, and a body. <laughs> See how quickly I can do this? Um, and then he comes down. His other arm here, and then torso comes about there. And he's got a leg. It's gone. Anyway, <laughs> uh, right. Pause to that's drawing I did previously. Got a head. Got an arm coming along. God, I don't know if I can do this quickly. <laughs> get get the shape of the buttocks. <laughs> uh, right anyway so you get the point right so let's go back to home that was like a quick fire round uh, and for the purpose of the video I was just trying to trying to show you speed so let me come into freeform sessions and again this is the one that you've probably if you watched my previous Jesse video you'll have seen me use so on this you select this is your this is your pen and you can choose whether you want a tapered edge or a faded edge. You can also adjust the thickness of your pen using the right thumbstick. Up makes it thicker and wider. Down makes it thinner. And I keep calling it pen, but it's really, yeah, it's really a pencil. Uh, you've also got your timers, whether you want to work with five minutes, two minutes, one minutes, infinity. And you've got a little stopwatch. So you're actually supposed to challenge yourself on how quickly you can draw the figures. And you've also got colours and rubber. So if you want to use the rubber, you can erase your lines like that. And you've got black, grey, white, red and blue. Then we go into our models. So you get a bunch of different models here. And you can choose between female, male and miscellaneous. So you can filter through those. So you can choose between male, female. Uh, there's a bunch of different pages on each. And you can go to miscellaneous and you've got things like you got this rhinoceros right here. You've got the mouth if you wanted to do a, a mouth study and, and sort of practice drawing mouths. 
skulls, the skull one I like. Uh, and what you can do, so you'll notice I'm rotating these. If you hold the grip, you can rotate the actual model. And if you hold the trigger, you control where the light source comes from. So you can get some really cool shadow effects going on if you want to learn how to draw shadows and do shading. Uh, and you don't have to worry about nudity too much because they put these little boxes in front of the nudity, uh, which you can turn off. I'm surprised the... Uh, the settings not there there it is so we go to settings you can sense the nudity if i turn that off you'll be able to see full frontal action you can also choose left-handed mode music volume etc you can also do is you can change the scenery the set that you're in so you can see right now we're in this sort of loft area the studio you can then also choose this blacked out area if that's more your thing and then the pure white which i, I think is a bit too much white going on um and it, it sort of, I think it, it'll hurt your eyes. You can then even go to pass through. And so here you go, you can do it in your own, your own studio, if you so wish. And so back to the models, yep, so you can choose those, choose whichever one you want to do. If you want to draw the skeleton, uh, time yourself drawing the skeleton. You've got a bunch of different pages going on. And then you've got a camera, so you can take photos of your work, including the figure. So that's pretty cool. And what's also cool is in mixed reality, you can see the figure sort of comes into your your real world environment. So you've got your paper and then you've got the actual figure, the model. So there's a skeleton in my studio and I can proceed to draw it. So that's pretty cool. So I don't want to spend too much time on freeform because I've showed you all those features before. But I want to show you uh, all of the different features in its current state. And in case you haven't seen the, the game before, it's good to know what's available. So let's go to Open Studio. So this one is, we do what we want, there's no time limits. Um, but also, it doesn't look like there's models on this one. So this is more, you've got a studio, and you can just go ahead and draw, draw what you want. And how you want. So you can uh, just... Do what you want to do. I'm not actually drawing anything. I'm just drawing, <laughs> I'm just drawing shapes here. Um, you know, if you wanted to start, then sketch different poses. Well, however you wanted to do it. You know, it's it's entirely up to you how you spend your time on the game. And you can, once again, choose between these. It's just you don't have your model. Uh, or your time limit. So there you go. So that's your freeform studio. And then the last one is multiplayer. You can create a private room and then join and sketch with friends. So that seems pretty cool. It'd be nice to try that one. So there you go. That's just your VR and that's its current state and its current features. So lots of uh, lots of room to be creative. The guided tours looks pretty good. She looks in pain, but like I said, there's uh, a whole bunch of different models here. If you want to learn how to sketch, how to draw from real models, then lifelike sketching but it's entirely up to you how you use it and how you uh, how you utilize the tools that's there just have fun be creative it's entirely up to you how you do it anyway there you go so that is just a VR hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you on the next one bye bye